six years, 22 countries, close to 200 scientists, and one exceptional research vessel. The Global Reef Expedition is on a mission to study coral reefs around the world. Coral reefs are undergoing a worldwide crisis, and we're trying to understand where the healthiest reefs remain, what sort of factors make those reefs healthy, and reefs that have been degraded, how we can help them recover and persist into the future. To do so, expedition scientists conduct a number of studies in the field. We're applying a standard protocol that was developed through a consortium of scientists and we think this will be incredibly beneficial to the world of science and management of resources because now we can truly scientifically compare one reef to another from one region to another. We operate under this banner of science without borders. It's basically because there are no political boundaries between the ocean. It's all connected. And what you do in one location can affect another location. Every country we go to, we work with the government agencies and whatever universities are there to identify local participants. And we bring them out with us, first to get them to places that they can't normally get access to, second to show them what we're doing, we try to provide training to them so that they pick up some of our methods and carry it on. It's a two-way street because the local knowledge is immeasurably important to our research and then the local scientists benefit by interacting with world-renowned scientists from very prominent universities and organizations. What every single country says is that their biggest limitation to really enacting sound conservation strategies is lack of scientific information. So our ultimate hope is that the research will influence action on the ground. And so we're acting as a catalyst. We're an accelerant to change. 